Welcome to Math with Mr. J. This video is going to be an introduction to symmetry. And when we're talking symmetry, that means that we can fold a shape, so to speak, and both halves must match exactly. So they sit on top of each other and it's a perfect match. So we have four examples that we're going to go through here together to see if they are symmetrical. Now this is part one, so we're going to be working with basic shapes. In part two, we're going to take a look at some more complex shapes. So let's jump into number one here where we have a triangle. Now we're going to look for a line of symmetry. That means a line that we can fold this shape along and both halves must match exactly. So for example, I can draw a line of symmetry through the triangle right there. And if you can picture folding that triangle along that dashed line, both halves would match exactly. Now it can't be close, it can't be almost, it has to be exactly. So we would call that dashed line a line of symmetry. And that triangle would be considered symmetrical. Now some shapes have multiple lines of symmetry, like number two. So let's jump to number two here. And we can fold this shape along a line of symmetry going vertically, so up and down, and both halves would match exactly. Now my dashed line doesn't look like it's exactly in the middle, um, but it's close enough. You would have to be exactly in the middle for it to be a line of symmetry. Now we can also go horizontal, and I might not have it exactly straight or in the middle, but it's close enough so we can go horizontal and fold it that way and have another line of symmetry. So that rectangle is considered symmetrical and it has two lines of symmetry. On to number three here where we have an oval. So again, this one has two lines of symmetry. We can go vertically and cut it in half. That's close enough there. And if we fold along that line of symmetry, um, that oval is symmetrical and both halves would match. Or we can go horizontal, just like the rectangle there, and we would have halves that match. So that oval is symmetrical and has two lines of symmetry. So on to number four, and let's try to find a line of symmetry. And we'll start by trying horizontally, so side to side. And if we were to fold that shape along that line, the halves would not match. So that is not a line of symmetry. So let's try vertically. If we were to fold along that line, those halves wouldn't match either. So that's not a line of symmetry. Now, when you're looking for lines of symmetry, you can go in any direction you want. So for example, we could go diagonally, but that's not going to work for this shape either. And we can try as many as we wanted for number four, but we're not going to find a line of symmetry. Not every shape is symmetrical. So number four is not symmetrical, or you could say it's asymmetrical, which just means something is not symmetrical. So there you have it. There's an introduction to symmetry. And again, this was part one. So we did uh, basic shapes here. I hope to see you over at part two, where we take a look at some more complex shapes. I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.